Hello, my name is Dr. Dirk Reiser and I will talk to you about our new data logging module for the Sterling engine today. For that I will first explain you how to assemble it together with our conventional setup and after that show you how to use it with our software, Measure Lab. In order to get started and to mount the new module, we first remove the O-ring and unmount the, old, the base plate from the old module by unscrewing it from the bottom. Now take a screwdriver and unscrew the four screws from the bottom of the base plate from the old module. The old base plate will be exchanged by the new one. Make sure that the magnetic ports point towards the same direction as from the old module. Also take the black rubber piece in order to seal the chamber. In order to complete the mounting of the new module, it is now screwed back onto the base plate. Tighten all four delivered screws from the bottom. Make sure to properly tighten all four screws. Now in order to connect the module with the base plate, we first plug in the silicon tubing for the pressure measurements. And secondly, we glue the rotary motion adapter in onto the engine Make sure that the two pins are well positioned inside the module. Now connect the lure lock of the silicon tube with the module and put the module in its place. It will fit easily thanks to the magnets on the bottom. Take the two thermal elements, connect the one labeled T2 to the first connection port and use the sensor for T1 for the higher temperature in the back. Take the O-ring and put it back onto the engine. In order to proceed with the measurement, start the Measure Lab software on the computer and easy con easily connect the module with the computer via USB. We choose the quick start option in the software and the software will automatically detect the module. We get different measurement options to choose from. Let's start with the PV mode for now. To start the motor, after some seconds, the module is initialized and we can start the measurement by pressing the bot button on the bottom left. The PV curve will automatically appear and we can, for example, zoom into the graph and see the modules resulting data. Thank you for watching and goodbye.